Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Reward Challenge vs. the Czech Federation Tournament winner, Philip Deltor from France. Challenge accepted. Hi guys, welcome to the Reward Challenge. Before we start and I show you the Czech Federation Tournament, at least some boards, which you could have seen in the previous video, but now we have all the scores so you can see what boards were actually the crucial ones there. I would like to thank to all the sponsors who are supporting my YouTube channel financially and thanks to them I can deliver these videos to you for free, so thank you very much guys. And here we go. So if we go to Federation Tournaments, Czech Republic Master Points, Archives, you see that I have minus six M's and it looks like a pretty bad score. But if you watch closely on board number three, instead of plus 14, I scored minus 12. It was like very small difference to play either in six spades or six hearts. In general, six hearts on a 4-4 fit seems to be a little bit better because I could have discarded the spade on the club if partner has a little bit different values. But what actually mattered... Okay, guys, I will pause due to the alarm here. Okay, luckily a false alarm. And here in six spades or six hearts on a 4-4 fit, I could have discarded that. But see that hearts broke 4-1, so I had to draw the trumps before and then I had like no entry. And some of those players who were playing played the jack of spades and West jumped with the ace of spades directly. So then you have the spade entries. I played a low spade towards the king just in case there's a singleton ace and that was a mistake which uh, costed me the contract. So 26 imps on this board just like that. Then the last board, as you could have seen, then I made really a stupid mistake in the card play where I started really well. So that costed me 12 imps for my really bad mistake. And then the third board was where I played in three no trumps. And yeah, well, it had some chances, but they found the lead and opponents, uh, well, some of the other players end up in five diamonds and uh, for them, yeah, well, it should go down one, but they took like an approach where Arjun can make a mistake and Arjun made a mistake. But even if you don't, then uh, you just go down one from five diamonds. So this is this is the board which is interesting, where I was a little bit aggressive to go to three no trumps. If Pardon had the ease of diamonds instead of all the honors he had, there is nine tricks from top, so could have been a really easy game here. Then I didn't cover the jack of spades later on and they cashed five heart tricks, five spade tricks and a diamond. No, sorry, four heart tricks only. So six down and a disaster. But for the final ranking, Philip won. So basically all these three boards, if I just did well, I will have plus 48 as well as Philip. So, well, probably he did uh, similar because I checked on one board and on the last one he went down from five diamonds still for plus three instead of minus 12. So Jacques third, Pepe, uh, sorry, Jacques second, Pepe third. And here we go, the reward challenge against Philippe. And since this is the first one we're playing, Let's introduce Philip from Logier. I don't know if I pronounce it even a little bit closer, but he has an average of plus 1.34. So definitely a good player with, uh, well, a reasonable experience. Although we know that some players have over like 100,000 boards played in here. So let's see. Five boards, M scoring. 13 high card points, well, kind of seven theoretical losers, so not like a great hand, so I'll just be standard. 
And partner shows a strong hand. Now my queen of spades doubleton is quite good. But to be useful, I need partner to have like ace king or ace jack. And the ace of diamonds so I can discard the loser. I think my hand is really nothing. So if partner wants to try for a slam, he can just go himself. I don't want to cube it here. Okay, no diamond loser, probably hard loser, maybe some clubs. I might discard the spades on the diamonds. And I need to finesse the hearts. But first, let's try to play the club if they jump with the ace, which they didn't. So, therefore, since they see the singleton, I'll just. I don't know, let's try the 10. Yeah. Okay. Do I want to try the finesse? If I win with the ace, the lead could have been a doubleton. And I can play a diamond, diamond, discard the spade and they rough. Then they cannot play the heart and possibly I can get two roughs. So cross roughing is possible on this board. If I play the finesse and then they play the diamond, I don't have an entry. I don't have entry, so I hope that diamonds doesn't split 6 1. Spade seems to split 4 2. <laughs> oh boy. And the king is on side. Okay, so. Not not like a good start for the tournament. Not a good start. And he's unleading the ace, it seems. Like, don't tell me that he's ducked. So I don't want to rough here. I mean, if I rough, the jack of spades will be roughed. So how about if I rough, play one round. No, I think I want to win with the king. Play two rounds of hearts. Or one round cross. Ah, it's tough. It seems like he's is having doubleton. So how about I rough? Play the jack of spades. He has to rough. Oh, that's not good. I think I have to I have to dump the diamonds to win wait I can catch one round of hearts just in case the queen drops not really so now I can this will be four rounds so if I rough the club and then catch the jack of spades and it's roughed. I kind of need to guess what's the distribution in hearts. Because if West is having three hearts and East is having only two, I can just draw the trumps and discard the club on whatever winner I have in the dummy. Why West didn't play the spades? Because I think he's having just doubleton hearts. So he had singleton diamonds. If he has four spades, he might have five clubs, four spades, and he will have three hearts. Because East played a low club, then he played the nine. Unless West is having six clubs, four spades, singleton diamond and doubleton heart. Okay, the first... Play is the five of hearts. So East should have one lower card. That means that he has an even shape hand. High low. He had six diamonds. Six diamonds. If he had two spades and three clubs, he will have two hearts. So I think I think I just have to. Play the king of hearts. 
Here we go. Here we go. I found it at the end. Whew. But roughing the club was an option. And then I had to figure out which suit to play. Because if West had only two hearts from the beginning, I can rough the club, play the diamond, discard the club and play the heart finesse. I had the entries. So see how essential it is to watch from the beginning those signals and trying to figure out the distribution. Definitely a tough board. And Philip made it as well, maybe way easier. Why he just played hard towards the 10 and dug the spades. That was way easier. Now I'm wondering why he didn't win all the tricks. He cashed the hearts. And he didn't take the spade finesse, I guess. I think that since it worked one time, I will just I will just play the spade finesse and rough the spade for 12 tricks. Because in challenges like this against top players, these two imps can can make the real difference. But he chose maybe the better play because the king of clubs was still a stopper playing a heart towards the 10. Yeah. <laughs> maybe better than playing the club it all depends if the ace of clubs were would have been on side and um, yeah I would be quite okay so just switch the king of spades and ace of clubs okay 15 so let's do standard and right now it's not good for super except if the queen of clubs would be king, I will super accept because then I will have good four honors with potential extras. But right now I don't have the values. Yeah, four hearts will be based on a finesse. So let's try it. And MC just go to games. Oh, singleton. Wow. And a five card. So... I'm losing a heart, club, diamonds, maybe a spade. If the spade is on side and they don't win, okay, they did, and they will catch the club, I guess. Yeah. So now it's based on the spade finesse. Yeah, since they're playing on their own, I don't think it's on. But I have to take it, even if I establish the diamonds, I have only two discards and I have to lose a trick. Okay, so that works. So right now I think we are good. Yeah, so let's lose the diamond or rough the diamonds. And I can claim the diamond seven. But I have to play a little for that. Okay. So that was it. Keeping the diamond seven and claiming the diamond seven, making the contract. So the card play was not that difficult, but the bidding could have been. Not, not for Philip. Wow, two clubs. So with such hand I can bid two no trumps, but I know how bad it is. So I want to know if partner is having balanced hand or if he is having a major. Now 22-23 with 4-4, sorry, 4-3, four, 3-3. Three, three, three. It's not great, but I have three honors. If we have a 4-4 four, four fit, and spades I might get an extra rough so I will try to ask if partner is having the spades and he doesn't so let's just go 6 no 32 33 I just have to try wow 5 6 7 8 9 10 
maybe 11, maybe 12 there. So basically I need the diamond finesse to work. See, partner has only 21, so that's perfect, that we can rely on him. Uh, 5, 9, 10, 11. Yeah. So if I cash five clubs, I need to make two discards. And I don't have that discards. So I probably have to win in north and play the heart towards the king. So then I might have the discards. Yeah, I have to discard the hearts. So if the king of hearts will lose to west. I can discard two hearts. Okay, it's not. Nine of clubs, five of clubs. But I will find out the club situation basically right now. And I can cash the clubs and then play three rounds of spades and then the club finesse. Or I can play the club finesse immediately. Five, eight, nine. Yeah, I think I have to play the club finesse immediately and then cash all, all the clubs. Discarding two hearts at south and kind of try to squeeze... Yeah, I cannot squeeze east unless he's having everything. If he's having everything, so if I have five club tricks, four spade tricks, it's nine, ten, eleven. I might try to end play east actually. So I will try one round of spades first. See if there's a chance that they're splitting. Okay, they are. Probably splitting. So then I can dump the diamond and the heart. And if it seems that East is holding only Ace of Hearts and two diamonds, I can end play him. So on the fourth spade, I will have to discard the heart or take the finesse. Seven of diamonds. So West had two clubs, East had three. Okay, Dama Heart. I think he played low. Low high. So he could have had five hearts. Yeah, it seems like East had five hearts. So now he's left only with two hearts. Five, three, three, two, and doubleton diamond. West played high low. Okay, diamond discard. So East is keeping almost for sure two hearts. And therefore, I think the diamond finesse is on. Yeah, here we go. See, always keep all the options open till the end and make the decision 
at the last moment because I can either end play East to play from his Doubleton King if he discarded the Jack of Hearts I just exit with the Hearts and know that he's nothing left with Diamonds that would be a hundred percent play and since he kept two Hearts I just have to take the finesse so if you are sitting in the East West uh, position then you have to uh, make your Diamond King Singleton as soon as possible that's how it is and Philly basically did the same so yeah I think he might be regretting the first board so let's see 13 well, let's better play from north so another declare play problem maybe uh, I have a lot of tricks, so four, seven, eight, nine. So this is not a problem for making this sis playing for over tricks. Yeah, now I want to win north and play the ten of spades. Because if the jack is on side, then I'm good. Okay, here we go. So that's fine. And East is having all of them. Hmm. So on diamonds, I can throw away a club and a club. And he can be squeezed basically only only if he has king queen and clubs so yeah I don't think that will work out but I have all the tricks let's refresh okay now they're discarding their side suits and the heart is basically another squeeze card. So now if East had the King Jack in spades and King Queen in clubs he would need it to discard something. Since he has probably only one of those honors he couldn't so I'm just making 11 tricks. I'm not sure if I can gain something, probably not. Okay, King Queen on, with on clubs were on side. Another tie and the last board. Okay, 12 high cards. Another 4 triple three. Uh, I probably want to open a club. Okay, and race to two spades. Well, I think that this challenge might be end up with a tie because this is not a problematic hand with the card play although maybe East West might make a mistake oh here we go so they made a mistake against me because of the eight of diamonds discard so now let's hope that Philip discarded another card and that uh, he will go down because now I have one discard yeah without any problems since trumps are splitting so pretty easy oh he had a singleton he tried But no Trump entry, and that was really costly for East West. Whew. Come on, show me. And a tie. Okay, the, so the same one. Wow, this didn't happen to me for a long time. A tie 0 0, or all zeros. He tried the king, discarded the 7. And still West didn't continue the diamonds. 
I mean, see that this is this is a really big issue that they are signaling count and not attitude. Because if they will be signaling attitude, this is absolutely no problem for them. Now West didn't actually know if he should cash three rounds of diamonds or play the club to the ace and club rough. But the reason to test the ace of diamonds and see the count didn't give him basically any information. So I think that was a mistake to cash even the ace. But he knew that the king potentially is offside. Yeah, well, very tough for West since they don't have attitude signals. Okay, thank you, Philip, very much. This was uh, not that much interesting for the card play, but for some of the boards, especially the slam and the board number one, uh, those were potential swings. And you were ahead because you, cho you chose the better way to play on board one and could have scored those extra two M's. So thank you guys for watching. See you this week in all the tournaments and on the live stream as well as the Czech Federation tournaments. Take care, stay safe.